hello it's Sarah and I'm at my craft desk again you guys it is kind of overcast today anywho I was scrounging through my supplies because I I ran out of these um, rounds these are 10 inch rounds what's the matter anywho um, I'm gonna show you how to make this specific mandala it's so simple it's just with a compass but look what I found and I don't I don't think I shared this this is, it's like a coaster set. So I have four pre-cut wood pieces. This is just how I find the center. And it's, what is this, like one of those um, certain kind of boxes. It's Baltic birch box or something, I don't know. So I wood burned this pattern on top of it. And then I colored it. And I like it. I think I wasn't thrilled with just the wood burning because this is a different kind of wood. And it didn't, I couldn't, it kind of wanted to slide off. It's probably been finished somehow. I'm not sure. Um, but once I added the color, it makes me happy. Sorry about that shadow. That's the, um, I think it's because I have it plugged in. Or it could be this. I'll move it down. My little angel. Um, anywho, so I am going to continue working on this. I'm going to create some mandalas on these and wood burn these. And I did prep these according to suggestion. I just spritzed them both sides, let it dry, just water, and then I sanded them nice and smooth. And I don't know what this is. It may be Baltic birch, but I'm not positive. Um, I don't know if this was, and it, like I said, it definitely had a different... And I varnished this too, so it's got a satin sheen to it. But I just wanted to show you how simple it is to create this specific mandala. It's just done with um, a compass. This is it again. I was gonna. I'm. I'm planning on now. This all started, like I said, um, in the beginning when I I didn't do any mandalas, and I took this class called Beyond Mandala Madness with Barb Owen, and. Here's the same uh, mandala, but I started late. I started the class late because it was via Zoom or whatever. So I just jumped in and started to copy what she did, but I didn't know how she did it, which I'm going to show you guys. And I just tried to wing it, making a six-pointed um, flower, but you can tell that it's off. This My measurements were off. So I have three on this side, three on this side, but they're not evenly spaced. All right, so I'm going to show you, and then this is just another one that I did that I was probably going to play with some color on that. Um, you can get stencils now, um, because I've done work with uh, doing making dots. Uh, let me think, where could I show you? Um, but like, to keep it, what's it called, like... Uh, symmetrical right because you can make a mandala I'm just I think they're right yeah like well that's not I knew I had some dotting on here but this isn't what I meant but it's kind of like a mandala you just start out and you just make a pattern going around following um, so there's look on YouTube and you'll find lots and lots of different uh, tutorials on mandalas um, and to do a dotting one you just need the grid to keep your dots in line you know so that's important to have but Barb taught us how to make them using some math a little bit of math which is not my you know I'm no mathematician but you can totally do it so this is just one that I was playing around with and I colored this with my Inktense pencils and then I added some uh, metallic gold accents and I'm gonna use my uh, jelly roll pens to add a little bit more sparkle like I did on this one. Let me see if I can get it to shine. It's not picking up, but like I used glitter. I used my glitter jelly roll pens. The water should be, yes, I saw a little sparkle. Ooh, I love it. So I added the different textured, like I have metallic, I have glitter, um, I have glaze, and there's one other, I think just plain. But it, it's just fun. It's fun to doodle and do marks. And that was something that Barb had in her class as well. So I just wanted to uh, play around with that. 
so I haven't finished this one yet but let me show you so this is just a little sketchbook regular paper and if I'm going to work with color I have been using either watercolor paper or I've pulled out this mixed media paper um, because then I can play with water and it'll it'll stand up better but you can use whatever paper you have in your stash I have tons of paper in my stash so <laughs> I have all types of choices all right so I am going to find my pencil and my compass now this is the pen the compass that I had when I did the class with Barb and it's a regular school um, compass which was good because we were creating uh, mandalas that she had already created and we were following along with her so she could measure and tell us how like far out to make our circles and Kiwi you can't you're not allowed to poop on my stuff she's so annoying you're my sidekick but you're causing trouble today she's really been with me anyway so this is a cool one and it, I think I got this at like the dollar store and then I thought I was being so fancy and I ordered this one which I actually have in my Amazon cart right now another um, this is just called a compass right a, geome a geometry set and I thought it was cool it was very cheap like too I think it was like eight dollars but it had a case which I liked and it came with like different rulers and a white um, eraser and a pencil sharpener and OMG I forgot about this guy oh no this is just a different one that you can put your own like say you wanted to put I don't even know if a sharpie would fit in here but all right they're basically the same thing I thought this might be a little longer I forgot about it because I haven't used it um, but it doesn't this one has a pencil tip in here and I can refill it there's extra tips in here anyway I thought it was cool because of the case and stuff and I have been using it because it has a very sharp point and this one slides off the paper if, if I go it, it'll like slide and it messes me up all right so let me just show you this is so simple you guys so to do my this wood blank where is it Kiwi you're really making me move everything you need I needed to have uh, this little rim all right I'll show you why anyway and I did the same thing on my box so just make a circle any size you want so because that was a specific size it was 10 inches I had to be all right and I'm gonna do I'll do a smaller one over here and I hope you can see this I'm gonna try and do it pretty dark and you just make a circle that's the first step and then I'll make a bigger circle over here pushing pretty hard just hopefully you can see and that's the other thing I discovered about this compass it doesn't lock so if I push too hard which I do I'm a heavy hand it'll it'll um, go out of shape it'll move you know but this is the cool part so you take don't move your compass so that's what I just used to make this big circle I'm gonna take the pokey part the part that was for the center and just put it on the edge of the circle anywhere on the circle it doesn't matter put the pencil down and pull it across from side to side like from edge to edge pick it up and start right at that spot where I landed and do it again I guess you do it six times pick it up and put it where that landed do it again and they should all intersect in the middle if your compass is staying um, where it's supposed to be. I mean, it's not opening or closing. You know what I mean? Like it should come out perfect. And one more. Whoops, see it moved. Just make sure your little pokey thing pokes in. And there it is. That's the basic flower shape. And then I could keep going if I took this and like maybe put it in the middle of those you can keep going keep going keep going like if you wanted to do a dot painted mandala you could just put dots all along there but what Barb did was left it like that and then she made circles behind it and I don't know let me I'm gonna get hers out again
because what I did, okay, so here's the one that she did. So she left, this one's kind of small, and this is exactly what she said to do. You know what I mean? So I followed along with her. And we colored this one with, it looks like we used the, um, what are these called? Tombow markers. Anyway, she made a small little circle here and then a little wider and here and here. And that was it. So she made one, two, three. And it does look, well, I probably put that one there. All right. But for then, when I saw this and I started working with it, it started looking like surfboards to me. So that's how mine developed and changed and I don't know I was probably just thinking about my brother a lot and then I was like oh surfboards and I just kept going with it and it ended up this way this is not the first one I did this is probably like the third one um, because I moved things around so I ended up getting this star shape because the heart was on this section over here and the di and the triangle was here so there was a triangle and an upside down heart and when I flipped it and put the diamond down here they all made a star so it's it's the coolest thing and that's what I'm loving about these mandalas and why I'm sticking with it is they're very Zen you guys they're very relaxing and especially if you're hand drawing them now I haven't really experimented too much with uh, well, I have. I took the class, and then here's all you have to do. So see, here's, here's what I, the next thing you do. Now for mine, I realized that I just wanted um, a place to put some waves. And, oopsie, this. I want to look at this. See, like, these are all hand-drawn just based on, the math of make see here's one that I did this is kind of what started it I think I think this color scheme and then they just started looking like surfboards to me for some reason so this was like the first one that I did correctly and then I start you know I it just started to evolve and then this one the combination because these I had put these sunsets on here and I was like, that's really cool. I like the sunsets. And Richie used to love sunsets and go watch the sunset every night. And then, like, it just kept evolving. The more mandalas I made, that's the inspiration for this specific one um, came to be, you know. Uh, so all I did was uh, <clears throat> decided, all right, I'm going to use waves. I'm going to use the sunset, right? Then I was trying, I went with, I was going to do a palm frond in one of them. Um, like make a palm. Kiwi, don't get excited, you little pain. Like to, to fill the surfboard, like see how this one, I just put three comma strokes. But then, I, then all of a sudden it looked like a keyhole, right? And I was just filling the space. I didn't really know what to do. That's something Barb teaches you is you just make a decision and repeat. You just choose just make a line and repeat it all the way around and it just creates a different um thing every time so like this one i think was my inspiration for this one i just did and it, it's different it changed so this center circle i just left like that and i turned this one into a star because it was bigger i had more room but the same petals are there. It's the same petals. I kept the same diamonds and circles here. And instead of putting these rounded ones on this one, I made this more because I wanted to, sometimes I like to tie in the design. So because I had these straight lines, I wanted to bring the straight lines back. And then I kept a rounded one on the end, which I stopped this one see what I'm saying so depending on the size of it and every mandala is going to be different I mean I was very impressed with Barb because she ours she taught us how to do one of her exact things so that's what I'm kind of doing here even though so I changed this when I did my final piece I thought all of a sudden I was like I couldn't fit that's all it was this is um I don't know it's supposedly a 10 inch but it probably came out a little bigger um, I couldn't fit the three comma strokes so I only put one 
just to fill the space. And then I was looking at it with the dots and everything, and I was like, that just looks like a keyhole to me. And then it became like, when one door closes, another one opens, or whatever, and the, the key to, the key to serenity, the key, you know, whatever, it, it just became kind of a symbol of moving forward in, in a way that felt good to me, because my brother passed away, so anyway, so I put the waves on this section, the sunset, I did the surfboards, and then this was pretty much not even burned, I had left it plain, because I thought, let's see, um, on that original one that inspired me, the green one, it I probably filled it in and it just looked too busy. So it was just a matter of create I took creative license, like in here. I made it into this little part, but I think that took away from the surfboard look. Like I wanted to make these stand out as being surfboards in my mind. So I wanted to leave this plain, but then I was like, after, oh, anyway, it just kept coming and kept coming, and when I made the sun shine down on the water, right, it just kept, and then I made these little wind swirls. Um, I left some parts blank on here. I didn't color some places, but on this one, I decided to color them. So I did color where the wind is with like a lighter blue, just along the top. I colored in where the flowers are because on these I filled it a little more. I put I had more room. It was bigger, so I put three flowers. But on this, I only put one, maybe two, half flowers, but mainly one flower, one leaf, and then I just filled it with blue, and I put a little blue around the star of the heart. So I tied in some. I just felt like it on this one because, like I told you, I can't do it the same way twice. It's really, really hard for me to do. Um, so, that being said, to tell you how to do it, I would say feel the inspiration. Just feel whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever it says to you. This little pattern could go a million different ways. So let's see. I'll try to change it up right now. So, let's see. I'll take my, go back to center and I'm gonna make a few circles. And you could go right over. See, I stopped. In other words, I didn't draw that line through. I made it into sections so that this stayed as one piece, which you can't really even see that. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do all of these lines through and see what that looks like. Go a little smaller. So that becomes its own, and then you can erase certain lines, right? So that's one way. That's a, and then what if I erase? Um, hmm. I don't know. I think I want to go. Hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to say because so if I erase okay I gotcha if I erase this line the surfboard still has this little piece and this little piece but it doesn't have this little piece so if just by doing that on mine it'll change what mine looks like compared to yours and if you erase, like, so you could keep all these little spots, or you could, so like, and then I think I'm going to erase this line. I don't even know if you can see. And then I'll show you what it looks like when, um, did I erase? And this is just like from a dollar store. It's a dollar store eraser. I like it though because it clicks up and down. I'm almost out of it. I had two of them and I'm pretty much out of it now. Now when I do it with my pen, so I'm going to use a pen and I'm going to darken. So let's see. This, I'm keeping the whole thing. So I'm just going to darken this. And I'm going to only have this line and this line. 
See, I could erase this and this. Sorry, I when I'm creating, I get so excited. I know I'm I'm crazy. I love it so much. Okay. So you see how that changed just taking out that little line. It just changes it. And I'm gonna do see I didn't erase it right here. I don't want to touch the ink because, um, but I could erase this line and make this such a bigger spot. You know what I mean? So this could be bigger. I'm going to do it on one section. I'll do it on like half of the mandala. So it becomes a completely different, uh, I call this like the skeleton. So this is just the skeleton, and when I'm wood burning, I would I will burn this first, my main um, shapes and spaces. Then I need to decide what I'm going to put in these little blank spots. So okay, so I did three. This is going to be here. And this, and this. And then on my finished one, my Richie one, I actually have a whole nother circle because on the wood I couldn't do this style of mandala because I needed to put my pointy part at the end to make it connect so I didn't have a place to put it so I had to put my little pointy part right here and then I just made it into a section, a different section which I love because it went yellow orange yellow orange yellow orange so it was I was able to just anyway it was a happy accident again so just let it be whatever it is okay and then this so one two three I'll do these again I'm gonna rip this off because I can't turn it sorry bumped my bumped it um okay and then I'm gonna go finish my surf I call them surfboards but this could be just a flower petal all right and then I'm gonna leave all the lines on this side and let you see how different this one design can turn out and I'm rushing, so don't, you know. Okay, but look, so this has so much more area to make stuff. This is just big. Like maybe I would just make, I could ch just echo the shape. I don't know, like, let's see. I'm gonna, I wanna use the pen. So if I echo the shape and just make these little frames, which I love because when I'm wood burning, I could either burn that and make it really dark or when I did my Richie um, mandala I painted this white inside this little echo part but see what happens it starts to build and build and build so that's what Barb taught us about you just make a choice and repeat just keep moving around now on this side I could make um, like, let's just make a, another petal right here. And if I would have done that to begin with, I probably would have erased these little lines and then it would have been a petal. And let's repeat that again. I don't know, it's, it's like, that's a thing. You just shoot, you just make a choice and do it. Okay, so, I mean, that's looking like something. It's looking great. And then, you could do, uh, I think I'm going to go with one of the things, so I could just put a line right here. I could put a line there and just section it off. Look, it looks kind of spider webby. And then, I mean, I don't even know, guys. Like, there's so much you could do, right? Like, this center section, 
this is on my surfboard on this one but right here I'll just make this into my sunsets I'll make a little but I could just keep echoing that shape but I love my little sunset and then I just make those lines I purposely wanted it to be um, like a surfing situation. This is more traditional. I'm just filling the space with lines. So right here I could just make a swirly on my surfboard. Um, I should be doing three. So I'll do this one. And I'll just put little circles here. And then I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm just winging it right now. I really don't know what to do. So I'm just filling it in. But that's, that's the process. And you use pencil. So I would play around with a million different things. The other thing I wanted to share with you was I, because I'm a decorative painter, one of the ways that you can do this as well is if you have a space like this and you want to make your mandala um, symmetrical, I would take my tracing paper. So I have tracing paper. And see, here's how I figured out my wave on here and I trace this little space and then I would do it with pencil. I'll just, so let's go into here. So here's where I want to put a wave. So I'll trace, I just trace that space onto my tracing paper and then I can just figure it out on here. So maybe I'll just put one wave. And I can, can just sketch it out until I'm happy with it. So, all right, well, I happen to like that. But if it was wonky in any way, I could just, uh, like, um, erase it and make sure. So if that's just before I go to my piece and start putting it on here. And then you just overlay. Then I could put this in all my spaces. And it would look the same. Now, on this one... I actually did not do that. I freehanded every wave on this one. I did not actually use that. Let me see. Yeah, this is not for this. That's way smaller. Because um, I'm pretty sure I, I freehanded this whole thing and I really wasn't happy with my sun lines. Like, look at this. This is so off right here. I didn't even pencil it in. I just wood burned. I penciled in those. I wood burned these. Um, I didn't draw my flowers. I just went in with the burner. I actually think I did that like I was tired. It was late at night and I didn't, I shouldn't have because this is the, the top of the box. You know what I mean? I should have at least played on <laughs> the coasters first. But so that is uh, how I did it. Um, how I like to do it now. So see, this one could just be a lot more geometric and I mean I could put um, but see if I let's see I'm gonna finish this off because I want to see what the whole thing looks like now let's see I just started making lines this way and this way and then eh, I'll leave that like that and then uh, like down here maybe I put a circle and I put a flower a wonky flower but you just fill the space that's all you have to do you make a decision and you move on and you do this in pencil first so that you can erase if, if you don't like it erase and um, so now I'm going to add lines going this way because I have those lines there it's really cool guys it is really cool like right here I'm gonna make a leaf shape doesn't really fit but if I was doing this in pencil I would have erased this line so let me see if I have a white um, I have white out you know what I'm just gonna use my white paint pen because I would have 
not made this in pen yet. I would have erased it so that it it would have looked more petally, if you know what I'm saying. So before you ink it with your permanent marker, make sure you're happy with your design. And before you know it, you'll have something like, see, that's even cool looking. On this one, this might have been too small for all of this work. I mean, it's okay. Like, I think it turned out pretty good, actually. And I added white in different areas because I didn't have room on the small one to leave this to do the, the echo. So see on this surfboard, I don't have the echo. I have an echo here. On around this, I didn't put an echo. I probably could have fit it in some places um, on top of these waves. I have an echo here that I painted white. So I just went in with white on here and added little highlights instead. Um, I didn't add the dots to make it look like a keyhole because I had already made these dots here instead of putting them on the waves. So I just kind of winged it and I'm happy with it. I love it actually. It's, it's just, I can't help it you guys. I love, I love it. It makes me so happy. So for this one, I wanted to show you one other thing, this. So now when I come back, now this I've already um, inked it with permanent ink and then I colored it with my Inktense pencils. I just put a little bit of pencil there and then I used, I showed it on I think probably my last video, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe my last video was when I added the rose gold, I mean um, the gold. Uh, but I varnished everything, I varnished everything with, uh, I think this is a semi-gloss or let's see. satin. Most of them I did with satin, but uh, this one I didn't. And look, I added gold to this. This one actually started it. This one. See, so like then I burned one and then I was like, wow, they look like surfboards. I think it was because I did this curvy line because this is really small. This is only um, three inches round. So this is what made me think surfboards. And I was like, oh, and then I put the Jesus Fish kind of slash awareness ribbon in there. Um, a little flower on the end. But this one really was like, I have to make this surfboards. And, but I added the gold to it and left it like a lot more. Um, so compared to these, these have a lot more burn, you know, dark burn compared to this. It's just a different look. This one's way burndy. And then this one I messed up right here. I doubled, which I could probably go back and double all of them and that would make it look the same, but I like this design. It was kind of, and then this one just, I kind of went crazy burning everything dark. Um, so really every mandala that you make can be a one of a kind and it will be a one of a kind um, and then now once I've added color because I like both I've decided I kind of like both I am a color girl at heart and I can't resist Richie's really needed color I think it just makes it um, like I think I'm gonna do this one again or something similar. See, that being said, it's hard to repeat because I tried to do it. This is this. And it never, ouch, came right in my ear. It never comes out exactly the same. And look, my hearts were so much bigger. I don't know why I made such big hearts on here. And then I started changing it. This is a curvy line. This is a straight line. Um, and the outside is completely different. So... It's just my nature. I can't really, I don't like to copy it exactly. I'm starting to add my own flair. Um, this one is so gorgeous. So I like both. I like the dark with, and then I added gold to these, which I love so much. I really do. I can't wait. I'm supposed to, I ordered blanks, and I think they dropped the ball because it's already been five days, and they say, um, it's supposed to take quicker than that.
but I'm kind of taught it's a toss-up because I love both I love color and the wood burn look but for this one it definitely needed color but for this one I was going to tell you so um, now what you would do is you take your um, gel pens which are I started keeping them in a little drawer so that they lay sideways and I'm gonna grab my green I have a green metallic I have a green moonlight let's see what this looks like that is gorge but the glit the glitter is what yeah this is glitter OMG I love it I'm gonna do some leaf work I'm just gonna do all I'm gonna because I did a lot of this one with a black pen so I'm gonna go on the light side of the leaf I'm just gonna make some little vein lines all the way around and that's why it's so relaxing because you don't have to think I could be watching TV and but when you're doing two things I think you're working both sides of your brain or something like that like when you listen to music and do this which I don't a lot a lot of times I'm it's very quiet in my house I don't have the TV on until after dinner that's when we watch TV the most anywho um, it's very repetitive and because of that it's relaxing you're not you're in a very uh, oops gotta get my angle right see I can't even talk I can't even talk now that's kind of hard to see I gotta finish one more but when you look at it at a distance or even you know you'll see that little sparkle well I will I love it so much and then like for this one I kind of want to tie it in so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna make a line and a dot and I'm sticking my hand in it this ink takes a minute to dry so I'm gonna make a line and a dot that's not showing up too good but so that's what I would do for that and then like for my I was wondering what I should do for my sunset and I think I could echo that pretty good I'm gonna use this yellow this is gonna be really hard to see and you don't have to use the same color I've tended to use like if the the heart is red or pink I use red or pink like I tend to put the same color in like so I used blue you know and I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but that's just what I tended to do let's see about these oh yeah um hmm. like I did pink on the blue here and I well yeah mostly I okay pink on the blue but I repeat it like if I did let's see I don't really even know where else I did that there's green anyway let's see about this one yeah that's what I tend to do I don't know why okay here's pink on green and blue on green so yeah I started using different colors on here and it's subtle like at a distance you don't see it that much and I kind of did I already filled in a lot of this so let's see I'm just gonna echo this so you can't even see it it's shiny yeah you can kind of catch a little shine of it but what would be cool if I put orange let me put orange in the yellow that is what I should do this is a moonlight I think I have a pretty lot of these I have a lot of different sets what is this this is glaze but let's see what this orange looks like I don't have any other oranges I'm gonna put orange in the yellow and I'm just echoing the shape I hope I'm in the shot oh boy I'm so sorry sometimes you have to go a little slower the ball will uh, 
it has a mind of its own, the roller ball. But see, that looks cool. I have to do that in my, oh man, it's going to look cool. I'm just going to go around the outside of it for now and see. So I just do one thing and repeat until I, I'm going to have to, I have to. I have to finish. I have to do this on every one of these. And it doesn't change the mandala um, design. It just enhances it or it kind of like, it does make it a little different though. I can't say it doesn't change it because the way color, oh man, that's cool. But it's subtle. It's not that big a deal. Um, and it's fun. That's really the main reason. <laughs> so, um, I would recommending you guys, and if, if you can, take a class. Take Barb's class. She has, I think there's like three of them or something on um, howtogetcreative.com. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, oh, I didn't finish my green. Let's see. Look, I already used the gold. I used gold paint. I dip dotted the gold paint. But like, how about on this purple? Purple is such a gorgeous color. Oh my God, I get so happy. I have three different purples. I have metallic, glitter, and this one is, I don't know, just gorgeous. Dark, glitter, I love glitter. And this is metallic. Oh, you can't see. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm too excited. Um, so like, let's see which one's going to, I'll go up a little bit. This, let's see. I think glitter. I just love it. I'm going to try it. So although that's super dark, I have to go with, I'm going to go on here. So right here, I'm going to go big, small, 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 big in the middle, small, and just continue. So whatever I do on one, do it to all. That's the main um, idea. And don't get caught up on it being like sometimes, maybe I'll put six dots on some and maybe I'll put five on some. It's okay. Like, see, I lost it. And I just want to get that ball rolling again. Oop, and rip my paper. There we go. I am so rough, you guys. All right, so I already. Has a mind of its own. But see, then adding the dots, what that does to it. So, all right, I'll let you guys go because I know you want to make a mandala now. It's so fun. <gasps> Every little, and then I have other pens. You don't have to just use gel pens. I have other colored pens, fine points. You can use Sharpies. You can use whatever you have in your stash. Um, these are another, I love these. These are um, Signo, Uniball. Um, I thought it said like point whatever. But it's a permanent ink. 0.31 but it's a very fine point so see look how fine that is oh man I want all right I'm gonna do the light blue with this fine point and I'm gonna see what it looks like um, I'm gonna do swirls I think using um, these drawers has been helpful, but this paper is not liking my pens right now because it's skipping. I mean, I haven't used it in forever, so sometimes you gotta warm them up a little. But anyway, 
it's subtle but it's just and then I probably have a darker one now this is darker I have a lot of so these are super fine points and so anyway use what you have like on these OMG I can't I can't stop on these I just want to echo the shape in purple I just do when I colored these I did them um, purple on the bottom pink on top and you can kind of tell but I'm just echoing the shape with purple. I think the slower the better when you're working with gel pens sometimes. They're being very temperamental. Um, and this has been dry. It's been, I did this maybe two days ago. I actually um, colored it. So my paper's good and dry. Yeah, if it's damp or wet, it might have a problem. Did I skip one? Yes. So anyway, it's all for fun, and it's just paper, so play, have fun, and I hope I've inspired you, and thank you all so much because you inspire me. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.